Are there special considerations changing from E2 to F1? Well, you cannot work on campus until you're officially in F1 status. You must be able to maintain your current E1 or E2 status until your F1 status is approved. If your E1 and E2 status will expire prior to your F1 approval, your application will most likely be denied even though you're allowed to stay in the US while the application is pending. If your application is likely to be denied, it may be better for you to travel, obtain an F1 visa abroad, and re-enter the US under actually F1 visa.